All Academy. Always with you. Hello, my dear students. Welcome to this special session on basic thermodynamics. So in this session, we're going to see the, the list of important questions on work and heat chapter. So already in the previous session, in the previous video, we have discussed the list of important questions and what answer has to be written for the introduction to thermodynamics topic. Now in this session, we're going to discuss the what questions are, how the questions are framed on the work and heat uh, chapter and what answers has to be written and how the marks will be distributed. So looking into the syllabus of a work and heat. So here is in a syllabus. So it includes the definition of a work and its limitation. Then the thermodynamic ex explanation of work, sign convention, displacement work, then the PV diagrams for the displacement work, then other types of work, then the heat, uh, uh, the heat, uh, how the heat is defined, then the sign conventions for the heat and the numericals on the heat and work. So let us move to the questions, how the questions are framed on this topic in your examination and how what answer has to be written. So that we're going to discuss now. And the first question is define work from thermodynamic point of view. Show that the work is path function. And this question is asked for four marks. OK, and for this one, you have to write the definition of an work. So already we know that work is a form of energy. So so how the work is done so that in general we know but here we need to explain in a thermodynamic point of view that is i have given then show that the work is a path so for that one uh, the explanation is there so here you can see that for this reason it is called as a path function means the work is called as a path function so this explanation you have to write it along with this pv diagram and how the marks will be distributed here the definition it is given a one marks so that the work defining the work in thermodynamic point of view and remaining three marks showing that work is a path function. The three marks is allotted here. Moving to the next question, define work and heat, explain the sign conventions used in a heat and work transfer study. Now this question is asked for six marks. Now here you need to explain the definition of work as well as definition of heat. So then remaining is the explanation of the sign convention. So you already know that the heat added to the system is considered as in a positive heat rejected by the system is in a negative and work done by the system is a positive whereas work done on the system is considered as in a negative. Here I have shown the, the symbols along with the graph and you have to explain the, you have to draw this uh, sign conventions. Uh, you represent them whether the when the system the work is done by the system that is considered as you know plus that is positive sign you have to show it and you have to write it in sentence also then the how the marks will be distributed here again the the two one marks and one marks for the definition of this work and heat and the two marks for the sign conventions of an uh, work and two marks for the sign conventions of heat so moving to the next question explain whether heat is a path function or a point function and this question is asked for six marks and here function heat transfer a path function so heat transfer it is a path function so why it is called as a path function that i have explained it and you can refer it in the from the notes also this answer has to be written now moving to the next question describe the classic pedal wheel experiment performed by jowls what conclusion was drawn based on the experimental observation so what is experiment that is a jowls experiment now the what is a Joule's experiment that I have given and this question is asked for eight marks because here you need to tell the you have to describe the what is exactly the experiment is then you have to tell what is a conclusion along with it is not just that explaining this process it is not the complete answer you have to explain this process the word diagram what you are observing along with that what conclusion is drawn so that has to be explained. And in this one, uh, the six marks is allotted for the explaining the Joule's experiment and the diagram and all those things. And two marks will be the conclusion. What conclusion is drawn from this experiment that is uh, allotted for two marks. So it is not that exactly two or four. It is sometime three marks. It is varying, but the total question is asked for eight marks. So moving to the next question, the next question is derive the work done expression for the following thermodynamic process. This question is asked for eight marks. 
So what are the different process they have asked? One is isobaric, isochoric as well as isothermal process. Now you already know that what is isobaric process? It is a constant pressure process. For that one you have to write it what is a constant pressure process during which during the process in which the pressure is kept constant. Now the, this is a PV diagram for the a constant pressure process and along with that you have to explain the write it the equation for the work done because that is the main thing they have asked the derive the work done equation so you have to write it this equation. The next one is a constant volume process that is isochoric process so in that one what is the isoch uh, process that you have to explain then the PV diagram for the constant volume process and the work done equation. The next one is the isothermal process which is known as an, a hyperbolic process which is also known as hyperbolic process isothermal means where the temperature is kept constant which is also known as a hyperbolic process and the PV diagram for hyperbolic process is you have to draw this PV diagram and the, the equations you have to derive and in this condition how the marks will be distributed the four marks is allotted for the hyperbolic because it's a bit uh, having a bit number of means the more three or four steps are included so the four marks is given here and two marks for the constant pressure process and two marks for constant volume process okay moving to the next question derive the expression for the non-flow displacement work done during the adiabatic process by PV raised to gamma is equal to constant where gamma is equal to CP by CV. Now what is the adiabatic process that you have to explain it first. What is the adiabatic process? Then draw the PV diagram then the derive the equation. So this equation it is available in the notes you can easily. And one more very important if the same question is asked instead of adiabatic process if they ask the polytropic process the derivation completely remains the same the only one term you have to replace it instead of gamma just replace all the gamma by n so then it is a polytropic process n what is a n n is a polytropic index and what is a gamma it is a adiabatic index now the next question is define thermodynamic work give the comparison between the heat and work now again already this question is completely repeatedly asked define work or define heat it's the same thing but only the next part is a uh, varied so sometimes they ask define whether the work is path function or uh, point function whether they sometimes they ask whether heat is a point function or path function in this question they have framed along with the definition they have given an additional question that is uh, give the comparison between the work and heat and here are the some comparison so that you can see that and even sometimes they ask the question instead of comparison they give similarities or dissimilarities you can observe this and this question is asked for six marks the two marks is given for the definition and the four marks is given for the differences so here you have you can write it the where you know that already heat is a low grade energy work is a high grade energy heat requires temperature difference work requires the force and displacement heat is a form of energy work is a method of transferring the energy see so this all things you have to write it in the comparison still if you know any further points I have only mentioned four points still if you are having finding any more points you can write it that will be advantageous to get the good number of marks now the coming to the next question explain the following spring work electric work shaft work and the flow work now what is a, in this condition it is this question is asked for some time it is asked for 10 marks and some time it is asked for 8 marks so each work each means each sub questions carries a equal weightage of marks if it is asked for 8 marks means a 2 marks 2 marks 2 marks will be given for each work and if it is asked for 10 2.5 you 2.5 will be given now here is an electric work so you have to draw this what is electric work then draw the, this diagram and explain what is the electric work equation then the spring work draw the diagram for the spring work explain what is the spring work then the equation for the spring work you have to write it then shaft work along with this diagram explain what is a shaft work how it is what is the what are the terms used in this one then the equation uh, and the last one is a flow work explain the, the, along with diagram explain the different uh, uh, the parameters what we have considered while explaining and the, the equation for the uh, flow work so this have to written as I said if the question is asked for 10 marks two and a half marks will be given for each each work if it is asked for eight marks two two marks will be allotted for each one so uh, this is all about the theory questions almost all the questions are repeatedly asked in your examination and along with this along with this uh, theory part in the work and heat transfer there will be a definite question on work or heat interaction numericals so there will be a question which will be asked for 8 to 2 to 10 marks already we have uh, solved n number of problems in our uh, lecture series you can uh, those who have not seen the the videos you can uh, see the 
the video lectures on this work and heat topic yeah, the we have solved the questions which are appeared in the previous examination and the even we have explained how the marks will be given for each steps wherever the marks weightage will be more that we have mentioned and the students also can download the pdf of notes as well as the uh, the numericals so we have solved all the numericals which are appeared in the previous examination we have also uploaded that pdf also from our website that is all academy for you blogspot.com so uh, i suggest the students to pra practice more 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 number of numericals don't only depends on the the theory the, the, the theory topics along with the theory you have to thorough with the numericals then you have a chance to get a good number of marks uh in the next uh, session uh, we'll going to uh, uh we'll have a discussion on the further topics we'll see what are the questions how the questions will be framed on the first law of thermodynamics in the next video we'll going to discuss the questions on the first law of thermodynamics and what answers has to be written on the for the questions so till that watch our channel and the share this video link to your friends also those who are preparing for the examination that will be a, a somewhere it will helpful to them click on subscribe button and press the bell icon to get updates from all academy